Now for the next group of images, and we need to start off with a round rectangle for this one. So I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool, hover over here, right where the spine is, uh, level with the bottom of the image we just dropped in the previous video, click and hold down the mouse, drag out there. So that's going to be sort of roughly 97 to 100 millimeters uh, wide, and then about 40 millimeters tall in there. So I'm just looking at my widgets lower down. So that'll, that'll do. Um, and then I need to apply that with um, a fill of take a break pink. I then need to go to the stroke menu and apply paper to that. Press return, increase the border thickness to uh, three points in there. And again, I need to go to the uh, icon at the top up here for corner options, alt and left click on there. And then make sure that all of those corner options are unlinked so I can edit them independently. Change the top right to rounded, change the bottom right to rounded as well. And we get that appearance. Um, so that's, that's good for that one. Click OK. I do need to just switch back to my selection tool and then just pull this handle in a little bit here. Now, at the moment, it's going to overlap the add in there. But again, what I can do is just click on the add, right click on it. I can choose from the list of options in here. Arrange, bring to front, and so we get that clean edge back in there again. And then I can go to object, and I can lock that one once more, like so. And so that's all good. Then I need a circle to drop into that region. So I need to pick up my ellipse tool, hover around about here, left click. This needs to be uh, 43 millimeters by 43 millimeters, oops, by 43 millimeters. Click OK. And then I need to put a fill in here. Well, I can just put a stroke in here for now. Um, that one is going to have a pink stroke around the outside. And then I need to fill it with an image, which I can do because it's already selected. So if I go to File and then choose Place, and I need to pick uh, this image here, Cover 7. Click on Open, click OK to that one. Drops the image in there, which is going to be way too big. But then if I go up to the top and choose Fill Frame Proportionally, I get that probably need to increase the stroke weight of that one again to uh, sort of two or three points in there. Switch to my move tool, make sure they are now linked together with auto fit and then drag that up. So it sits level inside of there. We're going to leave a, uh, a little bit of an overhang with that. So it just goes like that and that should be good. So we've got room for the text over on this side now and then click away.